good looking. Add to the potato in the debut of my new cooking show that's going to eventually be on my YouTube channel called Cooking in the Kitchen with Patsy. That's right. I'm a patriotic potato who said I couldn't use an oven. Stop putting limitations on me, okay? It's your problem, not mine. Anyway, today we're going to be making butternut squash. Mmm, mmm. Grown in the good old U.S. of A. Picked up at a farmer's market local in Tempe, Arizona. Sing Meadows Farm, I'm going to give you a shout out. Anyway, we're going to start by preheating the oven to 400. So you go and you hit the bake. Mm. And then you set the temp. Mm. It's hard with my little potato nub. Okay, so we're going to get that going. Then I'm going to cut to this big, beautiful, ooh, what? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that's right. That looks like a rocket ship. A U.S. of A rocket ship. That's going to blast off like Apollo 13 in your mouth. Be right back. Hey gang, I'm back. We're ready to dice this butternut squash into cubes of about one inch by one inch. You want to watch a potato wield a knife? Yeah, back in the day, I was good with a machete. Anyhow... We're going to start dicing this up. Uh, uh, uh. Hang on, I'll be right back. So as you can see here, I split this in half with my brute potato strength. And what we're going to do next is gut out all these guts right here. And then we're going to peel it and dice it. Be right back. Hi everybody. Okay, so we diced up the Butternut squash looks lovely. Just put it out on a, a basic cookie pan, any baking sheet you may have. We also diced up some fresh garlic. We're going to add some kosher salt. We're going to add some onion powder, sprinkle of black pepper, and I have a special chimichurri blend. Shout out to Temecula Olive Oil Company. Because I got this awesome thing and this awesome thing. We're going to roll it around in some hickory smoked olive oil. So once we do that, we're going to toss all these together. It's going to be like a big spice squash garlic orgy. And then we're going to throw it on the oven so that they can all simmer together and make some delicious herb veggie love. Stay tuned for the finished product. All right, we're going to set the oven timer for 30 minutes. I actually like to use Alexa. So, Alexa, set oven timer for 30 minutes. Oven timer, 30 minutes, starting now. She's the best. Also, I'm... Hey, just wanted to show you my babies before they get cooked. Oh, I kind of feel badly because I'm kind of like distant cousins with butternut squash, but every root vegetable and things of all organic nature have its day. And one day my day will come. But this oven's hot. Set to 400. We're ready to go. We're going to close it up. See you later. Well, here we are with the finished product. We've got a roasted oven roasted I should say butternut squash super easy to make so easy even a potato can make it so don't tell me you don't cook you gotta start get healthy America you got to. our obesity rate is way too high I think it's like 40 percent anyhow I'm gonna stop lecturing you on nutrition but here's the delicious, beautiful end product. We're going to try it. Hang on. i got to get my fork. Hold on. 
That's not a good view of my composting bucket. Mm, gotta put me down. I gotta put me down. I, I like to eat upside down. Mm, laying down, relaxing with my squash. Enjoy, and I hope you can make this sometime soon. Check back for more fun recipes and cooking in the kitchen with Patsy. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum.